That was the most amazing award ceremony ever. No one came to accept their award, which I mean, not quite surprising considering how terrible Last Airbender actually was. What is this? Flavor Flav, which, all right, okay, Flavor Flav, he was here, he was here, it was good, it was good. I saw him, I witnessed him with my eyeballs, and then I um, forgot uh, that he was there, but that's all right, that's all right. This has been a really good year here. Um, Twilight didn't sweep it like I wanted it to. I was really disappointed. I was like, this is their year, Twilight. The other film nominated for nine awards, Twilight Saga, Eclipse. The worst material in the history of vampire fiction. An uninteresting teen, lo teen love triangle about a girl essentially making a choice between necrophilia and bestiality. <laughs> I'm alright with the choices that were made because M. Night, the darling of the Razzies, took it home. Took it home hard. And now it's time to name the biggest berry of them all. The worst picture of the year. A third time nominee in this category, whose work was so awful, the Aussie Herald Sun shunned him as... A filmmaker so hopeless, you wouldn't let him shoot your kid's birthday party. <laughs> for free! With a grand total of nine nominations, tied for the title of 2010's most Razzie-nominated film, The Last Airbender. Battlefield Earth as a new rival for worst film of the last 20 years. <laughs> if only this were Shyamalan's last cinematic fart, the world would be a better and far less stinky place. May I have the envelope, please? Dislocate <laughs> your shoulder. Can you feel it in your body? <laughs> Don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> And the winner is... The Last Airbender. We had somebody accept the award for M. Night, who just so happened to be the same nationality. 75 degrees of separation, M. Night Shyamalan accepted his award tonight. Here to accept on behalf of M. Night Shyamalan, and the entire Brown community, he asked me to say that, <laughs> Mr. Russell Peters. On behalf of uh, M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong, uh, <laughs> as an Indian man, I actually don't know how to say his last name. Um, I would like to uh, thank the uh, Razzies for asking me to come out here. They, uh, I was about number 12 on their list of Indians that they had to call. <laughs> It was somewhere after Cal Penn, um, the kid from the Big Bang Theory, Mindy Kaling, the uh, Metro PCS guys, um, the Fiber One guy, uh, half of Ben Kingsley, that one brown guy from Inception, and then I got the call. Um, they said, hey Russell, would you like to accept an award on behalf of M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong? And I said, boy, would I. That brown bastard's on film number six and hasn't cast me once. And then I find out that 
there's a reason for these things. <laughs> things happen the way they're supposed to. Really, why would you cast the kid for a fucking slumdog millionaire? He wasn't that good, the movie was. <laughs> this is not acting. <laughs> So, on behalf of my community, which spans the globe at, uh, in India alone, at 1.3 billion people, way to disappoint over a billion people. Thank you, good night. And uh, we're really proud of you this year, M. Night. We're really proud. Thanks, guys, for doing such a good job and putting on one of the best shows that make fun of the awards <laughs> season that I've ever seen. <laughs> and now, before our end credits roll, let's acknowledge our enormous cast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Katsy Chabelle. <laughs> Avery Klein. Rain with Buzzline saying I had a good time at the Razzies. Thanks guys and we'll see you later.